welcome back to another video. I am so, so excited to be back in front of the camera and feeling really healthy and strong. So today I'm going to take you along with me for kind of like a health and fitness update, fill you in on the different routines that I've been doing, show you a couple of recipes that I've been loving and just getting back into the swing of things for the new year. What is the difference between being alive and living? I want to start living. to those early early mornings and I love it so much I really find that when I wake up nice and early I actually end up having more energy for the day I'm usually more productive I feel like I have a better outlook on life like my mindset seems to be better there's something so special about waking up before the rest of the world is awake and everything is quiet having that time to myself and just really like setting the tone for my day so that's been a little bit of a journey i've been slowly trying to get to bed a little bit earlier the night before and then working back into those early mornings my current workout schedule is doing three strength training workouts per week at a minimum and then the other day is just walking and i feel like that's a really maintainable place for me also kind of accounts for just low energy days and also the days leading up to and the beginning of my cycle where I am just generally more low energy and then I feel like I can kind of honor the ebbs and flows of my cycle and everything but still really maintain my goals. I've actually also started tracking my macros which is something that I was a little hesitant to get into just because in the past and I've talked about this on my channel before I can have the tendency of becoming like a little bit too obsessive like where it becomes something that's not healthy but looking back I was at like the lowest of the low that you could intake for calories for my height and like the recommendations and things like that so this time around I am not trying to hold myself to that standard I am wanting to make changes in like my physical appearance and my health and things like that but I also really want to do it in a healthy way I want to feel full of energy and thriving. I've definitely lost weight in the past before where it's been maybe not the healthiest way and I feel drained and fatigued and weak and that is just not what we're going for this time around. So I have really found that helpful and if anything, it's kind of just that awareness of what I'm putting in my body, like being conscious of what I'm consuming and I have days where I absolutely go over my like allotted macros and things like that but I find that even just still tracking that is really helpful because I do just get back on track the next day. I don't even want to call it back on track because I think that we need to give ourselves like a bit of leeway for life so over the holidays I definitely indulged but I did do my best to kind of track those things and overall I've been feeling really good so that's something that I'm going to continue to do um, but yeah that is kind of like the basics of my current goals and routines so the first thing we're going to be making today are these protein pancakes that I have been having on repeat they are so easy to make and then this particular recipe makes probably like 12 to 15 pancakes so they're really nice to do like a big batch I put them in the fridge and then they're kind of like a grab-and-go item I actually just take two at a time pop them in the toaster and then have them for breakfast and then Kevin can easily take them to work so we have been loving these they taste amazing so yeah let's go ahead and jump into the recipe to start off you're going to add two cups of cottage cheese which works out to be one small container perfectly Then you'll add 
six eggs, four tablespoons of 100% real maple syrup, one tablespoon of vanilla, four tablespoons of melted butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then a half a teaspoon of salt, 1.5 cups of oat flour, and you'll just go ahead and mix that all up. Now one note is this recipe was actually designed for the blender, so if you wanted to do it that way, it might be a little bit easier to get it like a smooth consistency, but we only have one of those little like magic bullets, so all of the ingredients don't fit. And with that said, you could just use two full cups of oats instead of the oat flour. So really quick and easy, I'll be sure to have the full recipe listed down in the description below. Okay, pancakes are done and set aside. I did go ahead and prep the veggies for the second meal that we're gonna be making, which is turkey chili. This is another one that's great to divvy up and throw in the freezer or just have like ready to go meals on hand. I also love that I can just kind of prepare everything, huck it on the stove and then leave it and let it do its thing for a few hours. So super simple and nutritious and easy my kind of cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just brown up the turkey meat and then I'll show you all that I have here to mix in. So here I've just prepared a whole zucchini and a orange bell pepper. Then we have some crushed tomatoes, some corn, and then really other than that is just seasoning, which I don't really measure out, but I have garlic salt, some smoked, pap smoked paprika. Why can't I say that? Some smoked paprika. <laughs> some smoked paprika paprika oh my god some smoked paprika like the amount of times i had to say that cayenne pepper and then chili powder so i'll just kind of check in throughout cooking and give it a taste and then add what i think is needed and that is all The other thing I wanted to show you guys is just what I have going on for tracking at the moment. So in terms of like my daily habit tracking, I have my workouts, uh, F means form, W means walk. Fit Fatale is kind of like checking in with myself on whether I embodied like my ideal healthy self. So if I was making good decisions, if I was tracking my macros, it's kind of more of like a feeling. Did I act in alignment with my ideal healthy self? Flossing and then two liters of water each day, which by the way, I find so much easier to do when I'm getting up nice and early and getting to the gym right away. Right now it's just after two o'clock and I am exactly where I should be. And the other thing I wanted to to show you is this little worksheet that I made and this is for my like year overall goals so I wanted something that I could see everything just in one place it's very simple I have health and fitness goals so I want to complete 156 strength workouts so that's three times a week and these are just the dates that I complete them and then free time goals so enjoy 52 time off activities that's one time per week this is things like making plans with my sister making plans with my best friend going for a steam like just something that is intentional with using my time off and not just sitting there watching tv which is fine as well but like just making it an intentional space for myself that i really enjoy relationship goals doing something once a month with kevin like a date night or something mindset and personal development goals again keeping things very simple this year i just want to listen to one audiobook per month and community and impact i want to intentionally create joy for others one time a month so whether that's like sending someone flowers just like intentionally making someone else feel good the way that i kind of look at it is i have my daily planner which breaks down like what i need to do each day and my goals for each day my habit tracker is like my breakdown of goals for the entire month so I can see how I'm tracking for everything and then this is like for the entire year and I feel like this is a really good way of just always being in touch with my goals and making sure that I am making progress on them instead of it just being this like far off thing. Um, I have it covered here but the other thing that I have up on the top is my goals for paying off debt 
I don't know if I'm ready to share that with you guys yet. Um, I probably will at some point. It's hefty, <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully I can make some progress on that this year as well. In terms of like these little sheets of paper, that's something that is really quick for me just at the end of the night, check things off. It's like that kind of gratification, giving myself a little pat on the back. It makes me feel good. That makes me feel more confident and want to keep going. <laughs> So it's now 8.30, Kevin and I had dinner, I had a nice bath, and now this is like one of my favorite new routines or like rituals that I've put into place. Having an evening tea and then some dark chocolate, I do feel like it helps kind of curb that compulsive eating that I can sometimes fall into or like that all or nothing. So having a little treat every day definitely keeps me on track and then I don't feel like I'm yearning for a treat all the time. It's like I get one every day anyways. So this is the dark chocolate that I've been getting. It's just a 70% dark chocolate and then I'll have that with either peppermint tea which kind of makes it taste like peppermint chocolate. I like that combo or licorice tea and both of those are supposed to be really great for like digestion. My sister-in-law got me this cute little teapot for Christmas so it's a whole vibe and now we're just gonna sit down and watch a show we're watching Dr. Death right now which sounds so intense but it's very very good so it's 9 35 and I am just getting ready to hop into bed for the evening I did want to share just one last thing with you guys which is a product that I've been taking to help me with sleep so this is the symbiotica sleep it's kind of been part of my process of getting to bed earlier and getting to sleep earlier so that I can wake up earlier it's supposed to help with just like calming and stress reduction and then kind of like calming your brain down from my understanding and then it does have a little bit of melatonin I believe which I know some people um, don't love in a product so obviously look into that and do your own research but I did want to just mention it because it has been helping quite a bit so I hope that you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week